let me record here. Okay, good morning. Um, hope everybody's doing well today. Um, happy Friday. So, y'all, here's what we're gonna do uh, today. And Amir's kind of already in head start on his. But like I said, if you pull up Summit, right? I think all of you were here last class, so this, you sh this should look familiar. But you should see you have checkpoint two there. It says three on mine, but that's just because I have all of them. So you'll just say checkpoint two, uh, identifying central idea and selecting evidence in nonfiction, right? What I want you to do is click that, but then scroll down. Don't click the checkpoint, right? Scroll down and then the last two links you'll see say central idea pre-assessment and selection of evidence pre-assessment, all right? Last time we worked on central idea pre-assessment. It looks like this, okay? Where you're just kind of taking your best shot answering these questions. You're using this article, right, as a link to help you. And again, like I said, this article is kind of long. So if you read just about up to like the first kind of ad break right here, that you should, uh, or the first kind of like picture, you should, you should, that should be enough. You should need to read, read too much more, all right? It's like when this first ad break pops up, you should be all right. All right, so you're filling this out. If you finished this one last class, then you can come back. And again, under that same checkpoint, who we got here? Hey, Deja, welcome. All right, so we're talking about what we're doing today, which is very similar to what we did last class, Deja. Um, if you go to checkpoint two on some, it says three on mine, but it'll say two on yours. And uh, don't click on the checkpoint. Instead, scroll down to the resources and you see these, these last two right here, central idea pre-assessment that looks like this. That's what we were working on last class. I want you to start with that. And then if you finish that, which I know some of you have, then you can go back here and click on the next one, selection of evidence pre-assessment, all right? Which looks like this. So again, very similar to the pre-assessment like this that we did for the last for checkpoint one earlier in the term, right? Like you can see in the directions, complete the following pre-assessment in order to understand your current strengths and areas for growth in regards to selecting evidence. So you're just kind of answering these questions. If you're unsure, give it your best guess, because this is pre-assessment. And then um, what you're doing here for this one is, you know, answer, you know, trying to figure out which of these choices uh, has the strongest evidence to support this idea, all right? So if you were writing a paper or making an argument on owning a dog as a pet is good for your health, which of these three options provides the best evidence to support this claim? Okay. Just like how, when we looked at the fiction one, we were thinking, we were looking at, okay, which um, of these provides the best evidence to support this theme that, you know, good triumphs over evil. Here we're looking at, okay, which of these provides the best evidence to support this claim? Because when we talk about fiction, we're talking about, you know, themes um, or kind of like messages to take away. When we talk about nonfiction, again, because nonfiction is, is real, we're talking about, okay, the main idea, the, the facts and stuff, you know, the claim we're trying to argue. So if this is what you're trying to prove, which of these three gives you the best evidence for that, okay? And you should have both of these completed by Monday so they can go on the progress report, all right? Central idea pre-assessment and then selection of evidence pre-assessment, both of which, again, not that, sorry, both of which can be found under checkpoint two, identifying central idea and selecting evidence in nonfiction. If you scroll down under the resources there, the last two there, okay? Questions about um, any of that, where to find them on Summit, how to do them, uh, what you need to have done. Deja, where are you? I'm here. There you are. Any questions at all? If you have them, now's the time to ask. Because if I don't hear anything, I'm going to assume you guys are good. All right. I'm not seeing anything in the chat, so I'm going to assume everybody's good. No questions. Yes?
All right, y'all. Uh, so you can go ahead and get started on that. Okay, that's pretty much all I have for us today, and then we'll we'll tackle the checkpoint itself when we come back on Tuesday, and then hopefully we'll be able to finish that, and I'll assign the final product for us to work on for the rest of the term. Okay. No worries, Sandy. So, y'all, you know, what we can do is this. I'm going to stay in the chat. I'm going to be muted. All right. You can work on these. Uh, again, you want to have both of them finished uh, for Monday. If you want to stay here now and work on them in the chat in case you have questions, feel free. If you want to jump out of the chat, if you know you have other stuff to catch up on as well, um, but you know, but you think you can get these done by Monday, uh, that is fine too. But just know that if I don't see it done by Monday, then uh, it's gonna count against you for the progress report, okay? So I will be in the chat here on mute as you guys work on this. I will be jumping into you guys' summits periodically to check your progress. Um, but uh, you know you can uh, go ahead and get working on this. Uh, I, don't, I can't help you too much because they are pre-assessments. I wanna see what you guys kind of know first, um, but uh, I will help you the best I can. So okay, get started on these. Um, like I said, you can stay in here and work on them if you wanna leave the chat and you know work on them offline um just know that they are due by monday okay and then i will kind of recap with anybody who is still here um in about uh let's say 20 25 minutes or so okay all right so plenty of time left plenty of time to get both of these done if you're working on them now so uh Use your time wisely. And like I said, I'll be here if you have questions.
Hey, has everybody doing questions about anything so far? Finding this okay on Summit? Any major issues? I'm gonna start popping into people's summits in a second here and kind of just checking how we're doing, right? If you didn't finish the first pre-assessment last class, you should definitely at least have that done before we leave today, if you're still in here with us, okay? No reason you shouldn't have at least that one done. And then you have then you have the weekend to work on them. Uh, Nishan, if you think you'll work better uh, working on them here in the chat, by all means, feel free. I will still be in here. If you know what you need to do and you want to work on them offline because you have other stuff to get caught up on too, just know that they should be done by Monday. If I don't see them by Monday, um, then I can't count for your progress report. But a quick reminder that you can't submit these like a checkpoint. Just know that you know when when you're done, you can shoot me an email or let me know. But I'll be going in over the weekend and checking them to see that they're done. But when you're when you're done, you're just done. You can't submit it because it's not a checkpoint. All right. Good question though. All right. Thank you, Deja. I'll right, keep up the good work. So Amir and will if you guys want to stay in here to work on these, it is no problem. I will be in here muted in case you have uh, any questions. Sounds good, Amir. <clears throat> 